Thank you, Honorable House Chair. The setback to the economies post COVID-19 recovery and short-term performance after the recent unrest Looting and vandalism in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng is considerable and serious. The general response of several senior politicians and government officials is that the unrest highlighted the urgency of building a more inclusive economy, reducing the opportunity for those seeking to undermine the democratic order to find fertile conditions in communities and that economic inequality is treated as a legacy of a pre-1994 apartheid. House Chair, government responses that people loot because they are poor and vandalize because they are angry is merely a blame-shifting effort of a failed government. In 1994, there were about 3.5 million unemployed people in South Africa. And after 27 years of ANC rule, the unemployment figure is now more than 11.4 million. The trend of rising inequality got much worse during the 2008 to 2017 period, which correspond exactly to the years of former ANC President Zuma's terms of office. So the question should not be whether inequalities have lessened since the end of 1994, but if inequalities have increased since 1994. The South African government strongly believes in redistribution but even when all taxes and transfers taken into account, the Gini coefficient will still be 0.63, the highest in the world. The unrest, looting and destruction, as well as the government's response, pushed back the country's investment confidence to the lowest level in 12 months. The mere redistribution of resources will only result in the redistribution of poverty. Job creation can only materialize through economic growth. The Department for Trade, Industry and Competition should respond to the current crisis with a fresh view on local economic development, the stimulation of localism, the development of community-based economies has now become essential and the greatest gift of real freedom to bring about equality. The economic stability of self-respecting communities will eradicate poverty and inequality. The Freedom Front Plus is not in support of the report before the House. Thank you, Chair.